welcome to the part one of the Bucaramanga series and this one is going to be buses. Now this actually applies whether you're going to Bucaramanga or not. So I'll cover uh, things aside from just this trip. Hopefully you'll find it useful. First of all, buses are a really easy way to get around in Colombia and pretty cheap. Now, I put captions on this video, so you can always pause it, take a look at certain information. I'm talking about prices and how long uh, certain trips will take. First, I want to tell you about the buses. Most of the buses are very nice. Now, occasionally on some of the short trips, uh, you get a bus that's a little on the raggedy side, but uh, for the most part, I always manage to get pretty nice buses, whether I'm just going to Pereira or Manizales, or on longer trips like to Ibagué. Now on this trip, all the buses had TV screens, you can uh, listen to music, they've got American music in it, but uh, you've got like six channels that are essentially Latin or Colombian, and then you've got one channel that'll be American music. Michael Jackson's got Beatles, got a lot of rock songs. Basically, it's kind of the greatest hits channel. On the TV, you'll have well, probably 20, 30 movies to choose from. Now, I want to warn you, they are in Spanish and they are not captioned. But you know, might find it interesting. I've always got... Uh, work to do. I have my notebook and I'm plotting out whatever my video trip is going to be. And, you know, that pretty much occupies me until I get tired. And I try to sleep as much as I can on the buses. You know, it's like you go to sleep because Santa Claus is coming and you get up in the morning for Christmas. You, you don't want to wait, so you sleep and then time goes fast. And it's the same thing for me with buses. Some people actually take uh, sleeping pills. Local people will take sleeping pills. Now, if you're traveling with somebody, that's probably okay. Personally, I would never want to do it uh, on my own. Now, I'm not saying that because bus travel is unsafe, because I don't find it to be. As a matter of fact, everywhere I go in Colombia, I don't, I don't really find it to be unsafe. Ecuador was kind of a different story. You had to keep all your uh, possessions close to you. And um, you, know, they, you had thieves who were very good about, you know, picking your pocket, getting your wallet, or your cell phone, or even a laptop out of your backpack. But in Colombia, what well, you want to be careful, and you certainly want to assume that that kind of thing can happen. I don't really see it happening here. Now, this trip in particular, the only way to go there from Armenia was to go to Ibagué first. But I take the bus to Ibagué, and then I buy the ticket for 150000 to Bucaramanga. But there's no direct bus. Think of it as flights. There's no direct bus that goes nonstop from Ibagué to Bucaramanga. You take a bus... You buy the ticket, but it's broken up into two flights or, or two legs of the journey. So you take a nice bus, three hours to a, to a city called Honda. It's, it's east of Manizales. Nice little city. And once you're there, then you change buses. And then you get a more direct route bus from Honda to Bucaramanga. Now, coming out of Armenia, going through Circassia, and on my way to Ibagué, if you remember, oh, almost two years ago, I did a video of this same route. 
And that bus took about five, five and a half hours. And the reason it did it is it had bumper to bumper traffic. But now the, it, that line is, it, that trip is called La Linea or that area. But now they've been working on for years a set of bridges and tunnels to not only change it from a two lane not only change it from a two lane highway but also to straighten out the curves and i'll tell you even though much of it is not yet done there's i think four tunnels on the way to Ibagate, and a number of bridges are complete and that the tunnels are open and just that alone saved from five and five to five and a half hours down to about three hour trip it, it went so much faster than before coming back from Ibage to Armenia a lot of the new bridges are ready but the tunnels aren't and a lot of the bridges are not yet ready and so coming back uh, it, it's you know it's still kind of an issue but the nice thing is because the other side is open you have a two lane you got all the trucks and traffic on the other side so you're dealing with half of it on your return side so that was pretty nice and so we still got to move along pretty quick but it was windy and turny and you know it, <clears throat> you get a little seasick let me put it that way now these tunnels, uh, three of the four, I believe it was four, but the three of the four went pretty quick. I think the longest of those three was maybe five or six minutes. But the last tunnel, it seemed like it went on forever. And best I could tell, I didn't time it, but best I could tell it was about a 15 minute ride through that tunnel.
hotel right at the terminal.